Stephen Yanni here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a very cool, very large 1968 Chevy Impala. Now this is what we call a Z03, not a Z28. The Z03 basically is the RPO code for Super Sport, which in 1968 uh, meant bucket seats and a console, but you could actually get a Super Sport Impala in 68 with a six cylinder engine or a small block with a two barrel. But here, as the front fenders tell us, we have a 396. That's the big block which uh, in this case would be a 325 horsepower engine. Well, that was then. Let's pop the hood and see what we have now. Yeah, big block with an aluminum intake manifold, a Holley dual feed four barrel carburetor. Gotta love that. Uh, original type distributor with vacuum advance. Uh, I do see cast, uh, sorry, aluminum, uh, these are headers on this one. Very good to see that. Air conditioning, this is the C60 air conditioning unit. And again, this is a mixture of luxury and muscle. Big radiator here, it has uh, an auxiliary electric fan added, no more mechanical fan, which is okay. You save about 10, 15 horsepower right there by getting rid of the drag of the mechanical fan. All that said, that massive factory radiator, which has been reconditioned, will keep this nice and cool. Um, so nice to see under the hood and just clean. And again, the Super Sport is just such a cool, menacing thing. We see here Impala and Super Sport and this sort of 3D raised emblem, which is very different from the base Impala. Pretty sinister and classy at the same time. Of course, uh, rally wheels on this one, which were something that was an option. These are 15 by sevens in the front and I believe 15 by eights in the back. But again, the Super Sport nomenclature seen on the fenders and going inside, Unlike a 68 Chevelle, where Supersport automatically meant 396 big block, but you paid extra for buckets, in the full-size cars, the Supersport meant standard bucket seats, they were not extra charged, and a standard console. But again, you could get a six-cylinder in a Supersport in 1968. No harm done. But we gotta love how we see the automatic transmission, that's the Turbo 400, which is a heavy duty piece, totally capable of handling this big block's torque and horsepower output. See the optional sport steering wheel. Uh, this is an air conditioning dash, which is a nice touch on this one, the outlets are there. And again, Super Sport logos seen on the interior door panels, which are probably the originals. This car is a nice combination of originality and nicely refurbished uh, modernity. It does have the uh, sedan roof line. You could also get these cars as a sport coupe. This is the custom coupe with the boxy roof, a little more classy maybe and uh, than the sportier uh, fastback. Does have 15 by eights in the back, rally wheels once again. And just a massive, beautiful American full-size automobile. You gotta keep in mind that you know Chevy's mostly known for Camaros and Novas and Chevelles, which are mid-size and smaller cars, but the full-size cars like this one here were actually Chevrolet's bread and butter in the late 1960s. They sold more of these full-size cars than the smaller ones. But 1968, of course, saw the return of six tail lamps, three per side. Uh, this is a 12-bolt rear axle equipped car, which is to say the big block, the Turbo 400, and the 12-bolt go together like a package. Heavy-duty stuff from front to rear. Let's look inside the trunk and see what we have. Yeah, very, very nicely presented. Uh, Zolotone on the trunk floor. This is a body on frame car. And what I'm seeing here looks to be the original trunk floor, the body stiffener braces, which are all factory equipment, a spare rally wheel uh, with the spare tire mounted. And up on the underside of the deck lid is this thing right here, that sticker, caution. This vehicle is equipped with a limited slip differential. Yes, there's a pausey in that 12 bolt. And that sticker warns you that if you're changing a spare tire, if you lift one of the corners at the rear of the car, put it in gear, the other tire will drive the car off the jack and that'll be a problem. So this is a warning if you're uh, not hip to your automobiles, not to put the car in drive if it's lifted up. But it's also a way of saying this car has pausey, which is very cool. So that's just a small part of the story of this beautiful 1968 Impala SS Formal roof, big block automatic car. And keep in mind that this car can be purchased with as little as 10% down. Financing is very available. And High Octane Classics does consider trades of late models, classics, uh, daily drivers, you name it. And they'll be very happy to deliver this car to your work, your office, your school, whatever you'd like. And with over 12 years in operations, High Octane Classic is looking for uh, additional people for the uh, service and sales side of things. So if you think you want to join the team, give them a call at 508 eight eight five nine four five one five and if you've a car to sell one or fifty 
they'll also be happy to talk to you about that. So to learn more about this 1968 big block 396 Impala SS automatic, check it out on the High Octane Classics website.